Here we go. All right, howdy, peeps and peoples. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Uh, what I'm wanting to share with you all today, if you all have me here, is uh, we're working on this job. We're working on this logging job, okay? And everybody out there knows that the markets are not great, you know, with all the stuff going on in the economy and stuff. But we finally got ourselves in a situation where enough people's getting hard up to where there is some lumber on the very bottom end starting to move a little bit in certain spots and it ain't because it it pick up demand it's just because the supplies have got that bad uh people's hard up and whatnot but anyways i'll get i'll get i'll quit talking negative but what we had howdy how'd your practice go good um coach calvin i love him and he loves me uh because it's both calvin's Tell everybody hi. All right, everybody, this is Calvin. Hello. <laughs> he just went to his baseball practice. Yeah. All right, hang on. Let me shut this recording off. I'll be right back. So anyhow, what I'm trying to get at is we finally got an order, a decent order. Uh, it's it just uh, finally got something going. Uh, nothing major, but it's a decent order. And we are just coming out of the winter time. And we don't have much in the log yard and inventory that's that that's not crating. So, like this here tree I'm cutting is poplar. Those of you who don't know, and it's it's actually got a market for grade, and not just crating. So, what we done is we sold most of our money out of the log yard, and we don't have a lot of money left in it. Well because the winter set in and all that stuff mud season and all that mess and so now that we're getting towards into into winter we're gonna try to get some uh, we finally got it we got finally got an order decent order uh, and we're gonna finally get uh, try to get this money moving again and uh, but there's stipulations to it uh, they know that they you know it's kind of a buyer's market so we're kind of jumping through some hoops here to get this done in time and the problem is is we're battling spring rains in between and we went and, and we're going we're, but what i'm trying to say is we're running towards the end of the clock we're about to run the clock out on this order and we have still got to get uh of this species we still have to get i forget where we're at at the time i'm doing this fidget right now it, it was well over well over 20 some odd semi loads of this species that we have to move yet in the next week or two so you know when, when weather's not permitting you know that that really puts you on edge there you know and where it's all hands on deck when we're moving so Derek's on the other end him and Roger so we busted up into two teams had some extra help today so we busted up into two teams Derek's over there Roger's getting off him and me and Robin's over here with Tiny and the boys and we're we're skidding up to the den den and tining in so we got the extra help and we're going to try to take advantage of it so, so we got the extra help we're going to try to get, get 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 this thing done and we got rain coming in tonight that's going to shut us back down so we are trying to pound the wood that this is a walnut tree by the way we're trying to pound the wood in with sellable species and and cater towards this species we got this order for the poplar so uh but we're tr- bringing you know the only thing we're trying not to this job's a big job that we're working so we're going to be back later this is uh just uh, the first hitch at this job and we're kind of dodging around the hard maple the hard maple's in the toilet and we're trying to dodge around it but this job is full of hard maple we paid a good price for it uh so we can't just come in here and go moving cheap hard maple and then figure we're going to stay in business you know what i mean so we're going to have to work around the hard maple. And there's a little bit of hard maple mixed in this where I'm at. And I'm kind of dodging around them on this hillside that I'm working on. So this, we don't do that very often. We usually cut clean wherever we cut. But in this extenuating circumstance, I'm dodging around a few hard maples. Because when we come back in, it'll be good 
we figure it'll be good ground and stuff like that so uh i'm running uh let me tell you about this pudding i still ain't running shijing pudding yet but i i have had i have it in the cutter now after as i'm editing this video but uh this is actual pudding with the big board kit doing great but here's the thing i went to saw class and i and um Aaron taught us some really cool stuff, but I don't know if I grasped it fully or not. But I got some of my angles. Something's messed up. I got this all where it's getting bindy. And uh, I'm going to have to do something about it. And uh, it's trying to. What I've done is I've done some different. I've done a flatter, a flatter top plate angle. Which is supposed to narrow your curve down here. And I'm like, well, did that screw me up? You know, because I narrowed the curve down. Uh, a hair and also instead of climbing your file the normal 10 degrees on a, on a round file for a chisel chain I uh, flattened it up so I flattened it up and then flattened the top plate and I don't know I don't know if I ain't got an angle wrong or just my bar needs maintenance my bar probably just needs maintenance it's probably getting watered out but uh I'm having a little trouble. That it's still cutting fine, but it's just getting a little bindy. So you'll see me every once in a while get a little sticky and have to pull my saw out and shove it back in so I can limp through the day and get this thing done so I can take my saw back under a knife and check out see what I got going on here.
Okay, I figured this one be a really good one to uh, explain to y'all. I'm down here in this bottom. This is an ash. It's a double. Now, the big fat part of the double is leaning away from our hillside we're working on. And this X part of the double is leaning towards it. And you, the X part is what I'm cutting into first. Now, here's the thing. I don't really care much about that X, but the ground I'm standing on is very, very wet. And we don't want to get equipment down here, but we do want this ash to go in with stuff we do. We could get an order on an ash. So well, I'm wanting to get this tree down, not wanting to leave this tree since it's right against what we're cutting already. But here's the thing. I don't have enough weight in it to get it to go where I want it to fall without getting a dozer or a skitter over here where they don't need to be in this wet ground and tear the ground up. So I'm going to use the little part of the tree to pull the big part of the tree over. Now this is a real questionable maneuver. And right about where I put that wedge is where the tree wants to go. So I'm trying to lift on the weight right now. But these trees are, it's a double or a school marm or whatever, however you all pronounce it once it one understand it. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm cutting this big part of the double all the way off. It's not going to be connected to the stump at all. The only re only connection it's going to have is through the, the meat they got grown together, the interlocking grain there. And when you do something like this, boy, you better know what you're doing because what you get is a tree that just on its own can fall any which way, can bust open and fall right over backwards. So I'm trying to raise it slow. I went ahead and fast forward it through, but I'm trying to raise it slow and all that good mess to figure out what is going on and get this thing to go towards the hill down there where it needs to go. I think I'm starting to get the rage yeah, now. Well, yeah, I had to stand on. Here go. Now watch the bus when you get the ground. Man, I know I talk about these guys all the time to work out here, but I want to say, man, I'm really, I can't say it enough. This is the type of job to where all your timing had to be, and I'm just showing what I'm doing down here cutting this chainsaw because that's what's close to me, and that's what I throw your GoPro on to get some footage to show y'all. It's not covered properly. That's a hickory I'm cutting right there. But what everybody else is doing is just something else everybody's trying to get things to click and then everybody's talking on a cb about the time it'll take them to finish this the time it'll take to finish this section or what how they're getting along here how they're getting along there and everybody is scheduling their time together to where when we get done to the end we get we wound this up i'll show you you'll see skipping forward here when they get done with this uh i'm finishing up the last little bit i'm cutting here and not a hickory's back saw catching son of a buck the way it's laying there but to see the way everything's coming together and how i think everybody finished up within 20 minutes each other that's Derek's team with roger and us and robin and then the yard getting done at the yard big daddy and big mama getting done at the yard all that stuff put together it all come together within 20 minutes each other that's just experience and that's just awesome as far as i'm concerned well we got everything done i was going to do some recording while we were skidding and i didn't get it done I'm trying too hard to get this thing finished up the rain is starting to rain now you can see some beads up a sweat building up on the front of my rig here driving my rig Mr. Chris, the last truck, we're 
Soft ground there, Chris. 